everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and today i have a story time video for you guys so we're gonna just jump right into it all right and as you can see from the title we'll be talking about a grocery store scandal and this is an experience that i had at my old job okay hear me out i was working at this grocery store for a couple months at this time and i remember that like i began getting really close with some frequent customers that would come in but i also like recognized this one man that would stand at this customer service desk all the time waiting for my manager and i never really talked to him because it wasn't he was just a customer he would come in i never really paid attention until one day one day my manager calls me over to the customer service desk and asks me to help the man so for the sake of this video, I'm not going to tell you guys his real name, so his nickname is going to be John. But when I first met this man, I went up to the table, completely normal, didn't notice anything different. And he turns around and he has a walking stick. So my manager tells me that John is blind and he needs help grocery shopping. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I had prior practice and training with my second job during the summer that helps guide blind people. So I learned that in my second job and that really helped in this situation. I formally introduce myself and we immediately start talking very casually, it's very comfortable. And to help um, basically guide him through the store, I grabbed a grocery cart and he would hold the back while I led from the front and gave him very specific directions on where to go so that he wouldn't bump into anything or just made sure he was aware of his surroundings at basically any time possible. So I start guiding him throughout the store, getting all the things that he has on his grocery list, and we check out, everything's good, and he tells me at the end that he really appreciates the communication skills and that I had the patience to help him grocery shop. And I found that kind of weird at first, but I never really paid attention and I just kept going on with my day. He comes in every week and the second time he comes in, he actually comes up to the front desk, the customer service desk, and he requests me to help him um, shop for his groceries. Um, he hands me the same exact list, same produce, same um, dairy, everything was the same. And honestly, I'm a foodie, so I had to hit him with the question of the day. And the question of the day was if he was interested in trying different foods. And honestly, when I said that, he paused. He stopped in his, like, tracks. He didn't move. He was just, he stood still. And he said, you would actually take the time out of your day to help me explore the grocery store? And I looked at him and I said I would I was shocked, like my brain. And honestly, I was just so shocked because why would anybody want to deprive somebody of exploring a grocery store? Like that's something that we as able-bodied people, as people who can see, take for granted. Like being able to see the produce section, being able to see what type of milk you want, to see what type of yogurt you want, like things like that we don't think about. And when he said that, I literally told him I had no problem and would literally love to help him explore this grocery store. And then that's exactly what we did. So we headed over to the produce section and we began to explore the different produce. It really honestly hurt my feelings because when I was walking around, I did notice a couple stairs. Um, some were like, and some were like, and after taking this class my first semester of college, I soon realized that there were names for these stairs. And I wish I knew then. So after an hour of us exploring the produce section and also going through everything else, um, there was also an incident where he wanted to try salad dressing. So we literally had a little salad dressing taste test at the salad bar. Pretty fun, pretty fresh. It was then time for us to check out. So he went through the checkout, we went through all that process and he was on his way home. And I thought it was over. I thought it was done. I thought my day was good and I thought I did my job. Oh, but I was wrong. I was wrong. After that, I go back to the front desk and honestly, the grocery store was not busy whatsoever. So please have that in mind. But my manager comes up to me and starts yelling at me 
yelling at me because I took an hour to assist the man grocery shopping, to assist John grocery shopping. And I tried to explain to my manager that I was helping John basically expand his like his options and basically doing my job as an assistant shopper. If he's interested in these foods, he should be given the opportunity to go and try these new foods. Unfortunately, this ended up in me being banned from being an assistant shopper because I wasn't allowed to help him shop anymore because I took too long. But that just shows disrespect or the ignorance that some people may have when they just refuse to see a different perspective. Other than grocery shop, we actually had really nice conversations. We talked about what we were studying in college, which happened to be the same thing, which was psychology. And we also talked about disability in general. And he told me that a lot of people at this grocery store that I used to work at treated him as a burden and rarely helped him to the extent that I did. One thing that I'll never forget that he told me was that I had treated him like a normal person. And honestly, that made me feel like my job at this grocery store was 100% worth it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. Um, that was the grocery store scandal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and leave a comment and see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.